the new one released in 5.7 preview has been released and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up an Android project in Unreal 5.7. So first make sure you have to install the Android component. First you have to go to options, make sure that you have the title right from under Android. This is must require. Then simply launch it. Also I give you some information about the stage that some of user face the crashing issue like blank screen issue and etc more. I'll, you can check the description timeline as well, I will describe there as well. Like in which cases you face those issues and how you can prevent it has been open. You have to go to the game sector now. Add here, choose a location or directory that you like and the project name you can give anything. Make sure some people become confused like, is this my game name? No, this is not your game name. Suppose if your game name is card drive. Now, you don't have to put it right here. Just give it name like CDN. Okay, something like that. This is just a project name, nothing else. This thing only you and your teammate will say, not the user will say. Because instead of the project, you can set those things. Okay. So once you keep it, I and I always try to suggest you to keep it in small letter. Okay, you doesn't have to be brief loss of. Okay, in the target platform, you have to choose mobile. The quality piece rate is you can choose the maximum. Obviously, the maximum it will be give you the maximum quality range and everything like post process, motion blur, and etc. In the scale mode, you only get like some limitation, but you'll be get more better performance. So we are going with go with the, uh, the maximum then let's simply click on create a project if you're doing it first time it probably can take uh, like a 30 to 20 minutes to compile all of the shader depends on your engine and depends on your PC config and also why you keep your engine in my case it's all are in an NVMe with a very little processor and RAM and ETC so it won't be, take lots of time for me so yep save and at here you can give it your listing name like map after that you can choose project settings and from here maps and modes choose your map that you created just like this thing okay once you're done here you have to go basically to the packaging sector at here always choose this one generate chunk because it's so required after the scroll down and at here the configuration turn you can change the this thing depends on your situation if you're packaging for app uh the for google play store choose the shipping mode otherwise keep it in development mode the full rebuild it doesn't require always but if you like to give it every time you want to compile it from fresh you can give it a rebuild enable the installer file is doesn't require so you can just untick it it will also save your storage as well other thing you don't have to enable go to the supports and platform now here you have because you are creating a mobile project so it doesn't require the linux max tv versus and vision and etc so you can disable this thing even even ios depending on situation okay because otherwise it's going to be compiled those shaders as well even you don't need then go to target hard hardware make sure your hardware is supported that you gave then scroll down and lastly at here in your plugin sector oh sorry in your platform slash android you find this level configuration if you accepted at this stage enable so this will mean that your sdk has been set up you don't have to do anything with the sdk stuff if you don't have you have if you haven't set up yet the sdk for unreal 5.7 just check out the video i already show you that now just click on config now and at here make sure you give something like in a small letter do not use capital letter for this thing like suppose cnd name uh, cnd car okay this is just a package name it doesn't uh require loss of you know paraphrasing word or etc okay but yeah it has to be unique rather than compared to any other google play store now if you have a question about how i can understand that if this package is already exist or not just copy your package name you can go to google play store and like a google play store follow a simple rule like this kind of like a id where you basically see that id and the package name okay so suppose if you think that uh your pick uh how your package name is exist or not like just give me that car drive okay and if this package name is exist if i paste at here uh like here after the id of that it will be show me okay if that is available suppose something like this is my uh, app and 
And if I just copy this thing, the ID, the package name data, which is this one, you will see that instantly it will be pop up because Google Play Store always define the URL by its ID or the package ID. Okay, so by this thing method, you are able to find that if this you know the package exists or not. I will suggest you just write your studio name, then give it dot, and always use like that. Never use something like D seven four etc etc. Okay, it's one F except in Google Play Store. Okay. After that, add here the store version, and this is all related with the store. You doesn't have to do anything with this thing. As I said, that you can choose your app name or game name from here. Like you can give it name like card drive. We want to give you suppose your game name is card drive. So card drive you can put at here. It will going to be show the user that okay, this is the project name. About the minimum SDK and targeted SDK, this is happen loss. Always choose the minimum and always choose the maximum that your project is support like Android 18 or 15 or whatever is currently exist. After that, make sure package game data inside of APK. Yes, that's always true. Let's scroll down and add here the ARM 60. Make sure those are ticked. This is for very high end device if you want to give it access. Otherwise, you can skip this thing. Okay. Then again, scroll down like the bottom. And here you find the launching screen. You can disable it and you can use your custom launching screen if you like. About the Bluetooth controllers, loss of time it doesn't require, so you can just keep it disabled. Depends on your need. After that, ASTC DSTC texture, it all depends on you. If you like to redirect your package size, you can just disable all of those things. Just use ASTC because most of now 80% of devices use ASTC because this is the standard right now. That's why. Okay. Once you are done at here, you are ready to export now. Your game is ready from here for the Android development. From now, you are able to do the game development from here and export this thing. Now, let me show you one more thing. In Unreal Engine, uh, the 5.7 series, there's a new option has been enabled, which is you can basically check your shader quality from here, which is the previewer Android. You can choose your Android and here, you just choose here the genetic open GL. So it will be basically compile the whole shader for you because what happened that loss of time you, we create some type of material or any mesh that is working fine in window but it doesn't look similar as in our android when we export the game because of the PC shader or the android shader is not same so you have to keep it mind at that point. So always use this mode which is give you like a 80 to 90 percent similarity so you can understand that this share is going to be work or this share is so complex that it's own effect or this share is so complicated you get a little bit of idea like it's a very tint or what is the color is it actually located perfect or not with this shader mode you are able to find the thing. So right now it's an android shader so I, I guess you can understand like what is the difference like you can see this lighting this scene is very bright so you probably going to be see the most of cases 90 to 95 percent similarity uh whenever you are in an android but just look in your pc but it looks a more darker tone and etc so as i said it all will depend all depends on your android config and your project settings okay and lastly about exporting big wave now most of you want to after that building suppose a game you like to share with your friends how you can do it so you can do it by pressing platform then you have to go to sdk manager go to android and here you find that install sdk or click on update sdk once you do that your project will be sdk will be updated so just give it and it will be updated after that you have to go to uh, here which is packaging project choose it to android android astc once you're done here you have to basically go to the launcher which is this one project launcher at here you have to make your this android configure because the unreal engine new system has been changed that's why so what you have to do you have to click or create a new launch profile give it name something like android you can give it this description like build test 
okay then you have to press this tick button tick at here and once you tick it here you find the project you can choose if you want any other project now here the target is project default the platform now here you can choose it like a multi open estc dxtc etc whatever you want so in my case it's estc in the configuration of development will be choose development uh, you also find the debug even shipping mode as well after that for the content uh, scheme you can use the packed file system or development package in my case i'm going to use development so because this is the one of the standard one about the increment pool you can give or modify with dependency is recommended okay and also if you like you can choose any other map that is have with startup maps and etc but if you like to choose your own map only you can choose it from here this is the more convenient from here after that if you want you can press the build the game and build even is a p targeted exist also archive build it depends on the because we need a date to choose so just choose that archive build now you have to choose a location that you like to export your game or you want to see the files so it will you can see it after that if you already connected your mobile with your project you find here the deploy option you can choose it and choose the target your device that you like to deploy in my case i don't like right now so i'm going to disable it and yep once you done at here you don't have to do anything else like the initial uh yeah this thing is so important that initialize map which is which map going to be first launch whenever the game will open so make sure you choose it at here okay also i will always recommend if you go to maps and modes always choose this thing so it won't won't face any problem now once you're done from next time you can just choose your build then just click on launch and it will automatically going to be set up everything for you now you can see it's give me an error why i know that because you can see the take dev studio this is not a take dev studio project this is a currently cdn project so you have to choose your right project name and you have to just click on launch and you can see now it's working fine now the new installer system or packaging system is really great it's looking awesome so i'll recommend you to go with this one it's look crazy well and in my case it's take around to five to ten minutes to package the whole game if you're doing for first time it will take up to 30 to one hour depends on your pc configuration and make sure lots of you do lots of kind of like a problem like you don't even give your like internet access because this project required internet access okay because it's download the files and etc so always make sure that you export uh, when you are exporting you're connected to your device with uh, the internet otherwise it's going to be face problem always sometimes uh, also sometimes happen like the there's a written write issue so if it's problem happening continuously you can disable your antivirus because sometimes it's also can affect the game or the unreal game to or to build issue so try to uh, disable your window defender which is by default come with the microsoft and also you should disable your internet security like kasparis key or eset if you have any other brand when you are packaging this kind of like thing because it's, a, it's coming from engine inside so you don't have anything access on that so yeah so once you're done you can press on done at here so your package has been done you can see now you can go to the project file and at here you can choose your location that you selected like here in my case it's android and see i have all of this thing the installer file the apk and x64 version as well so now you can share this apk with your friends and family and just become a game developer so that's all in this video see you in the next video bye bye